Let's talk about foundation design from inside a visual analysis. In order to do this, it requires that you have visual foundation installed on your computer. The first thing you need to do in visual analysis is to create some foundation elements. That's done by selecting the nodes that you would want to connect to your foundation. Now, it's important that these nodes have a reaction component to them. In other words, they're supported in a vertical direction. If I select this node, for example, at the bottom of the column, and I use my right mouse button, I can select Create Foundation. And when I do that, another object gets drawn to the location of the node. Foundations can also be made of multiple nodes and in, as such make a combined footing. So let's select the nodes at this corner of our structure. Again, right mouse button, create foundation. And now I've created another foundation object. In order to actually design the foundation, we need to go to the design view where the foundations will be shown. And if I select one of the foundations, we notice we have an option over here in the Modify tab to do Foundation Design. Similarly, up under the Tools, we have the option to Export to Visual Foundation. If I select that option, let's see what happens. Visual Foundation will be started, and it will include a footing which has our foundation, as well as the column that was at the top of the foundation. If we look, the loads that were in the existing model are transferred over. For example, for live load, we have a column reaction of a moment, a shear, and an axial force. And for the wind load, we have those reactions. And if we go back to the dead load, we'll see we have those reactions as well. So the foundation loads then are brought over and you can go ahead with your design and visual foundation. Let's just change the dimensions a little bit and make the foundation longer in one direction or, or the other. And now let's just exit visual foundation. And when I do that, it asks me if I want to save this project. If you decide you want to come back to this foundation and modify your design, you might want to save it at this point. I'm not going to, so I'm just going to select no and it exits. And when we look at what we have now in visual analysis, we see the modified size where it's longer in one direction than the other has come across. So the information that comes back to visual analysis is just the footing size. All the other design information that you had in visual foundation, like rebar spacing and location, that has to be kept in visual foundation and VA knows nothing about it. Let's look at our combined foundation where we have a couple walls and a column, couple of columns setting on it. This time, I'm just going to go to the Modify tab and select Design. And when I do that, Visual Foundation will start again. And this time, we see that we have in Visual Foundation our combined footing. And we have walls, where the walls were, or plate elements. And we also have loads transferred over. If I switch to Live Load, we'll see that those are all shown as both wall loads and column loads, so those are brought across. So just like that, a combined footing can be brought into Visual Foundation.